I'm a sad hot girl today. That's why I'm wearing this blanket. <laughs> so when we wrote sad hot girls, we have this running list of titles that we will go back through when we're writing something. We didn't really know what it wanted to, we wanted it to be yet. We knew we liked that right. title. You guys were just like doing your production thing and I had like a bunch of lyrics like I normally do when you came over and I remember there was just one lyric that it was like Jenny walking down the street mm -hmm. and then you were like, can we use Little Sally Walker? Mm -hmm. And we were like, yo, that's sick. And then we just started going really dark with it, writing a bunch of shit about like why it's hard to be a girl. You had started playing guitar part and I was mm -hmm. playing a drum thing. Mm -hmm. And I bounced the drums in place and put RC20 on it and it made it all distorted and that's like the drum intro that you hear. And the music was like a little sadder leaning than we had done before, you know? Cause the only song that had like a mood was 1-800. The world kind of has its own expectation on women, but there's like two different types of expectations. There's mm -hmm. like women's expectations of women mm -hmm. and then men's expectations of women. Mm -hmm. Part of that stem like is in the first verse when we're talking about this social media, like who you see online is different than I love that who verse she so really much. is. Little Sally Walker walking down the street, got headphones in and Nike's on her feet. Lips like cherries, yeah, you wanna be her if you ever meet her. New stepdad is kind of an ass. Her mom pops pills until she blacks. See her online, you think you wanna be her. She looks good in a t-shirt. It's the juxtaposition of what you think somebody is, a lot of that through the lens of social media versus what a person's really going through that you don't know about. And we just base so much of what we think about someone based off their appearance, you know? Yeah, it's so not like, even social media, even real life. Right, it's just she's walking down the street, she looks good, so you're like, everything's fine. But it's like at home, mommy's got a little drug addiction and mm -hmm. stepdad's an asshole. Classic. Yeah, always goes that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I actually don't have a stepdad. I can't stepdads comment do on better. stepdads. I can. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see through her eyes instead of staring at her thighs, maybe then you realize why she cries. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, yeah. cause especially because we're so visual in the first verse. Mm -hmm. And I also think the staring at her thighs, there are many ways to stare at thighs. You can stare at thighs and be like hot. You oh, can stare at thighs and be like Oh, that's so fat. true. There's just multiple ways of looking at it. it. Comes down to the lens of like, everyone has an opinion about somebody else already in the back of their mind just because of what society has taught you to expect mm -hmm. of that person. Social media was literally created to rate how hot women were. You know, that's how Facebook started. Dudes in the dorm room. Mm-hmm, saying like, who is the hottest girl? Yeah. The sad hot girls don't wanna be sad but hot girls, don't wanna be hot and hurt all of the time. This fucked up world is looking at mini skirts and hitting on sad hot girls all of the time. It's but the just, classic, oh, it sucks being a girl. Yeah, just acknowledging that sometimes it's just hard. So everyone already has an opinion. Lil Sally Walker walking down the halls of the big white clinic next to the mall. She's so scared that someone will see her and they won't keep her secret. I remember you came away from the computer for a minute to sit next mm -hmm. to me. We debated about talking about abortion and how we wanted to say it. Right. And what we wanted to say about it. How the nose to be, or to make it more alluding to it. The clinic, we know what that, this part of the verse meant when we were writing it. For but us, but it could us, mean something this, different right, for, for everybody, everybody else. That's the thing. Yeah, because some people, when we showed, they thought that, you know, clinic meant going to like, a clinic to get something changed. Body modification. Yeah, body yeah. mod. Obviously, women's clinics offer more than just abortion, so it could mm -hmm. even just be this stigma that surrounds that, like, I need to go get birth control, I need to go to this Planned Parenthood, but it's like, you're nervous that somebody else might see you. My ex-boyfriend is a classic dick. He sent around all our private pics. Now everyone thinks they can get with her. I'll be honest, I had just watched Riverdale before this. <laughs> <laughs> So when we were like trying to think of other things that happened, I remember I just watched the episode, I think, where one of them sends around a video of the girls or whatever, and I yeah. was like, dude, that happened to so many girls in my high school. That's super fucked up. Like, those are intimate pictures that you're sending to someone you think you can trust. Did some of those pictures come from the person that you're with right. pressuring you to give them exactly. pictures, and then exactly. they use that against you? against you. And then now you're the you're stupid the, slut everybody's right. talking about. Yeah, taking a hot picture of yourself can be very empowering, mm -hmm. but it's like, things like that sort of takes the power out of it. That now your body has become just 
a thing on a screen as opposed yeah. to something that you own. It's the difference in sexual standards between men and women. Mm -hmm. Where like the men have sex and get high fives and women, they either are made fun of and called names or like they're prude if they right, don't do something right. or it's their sluts if they do do it. There's no winning. Body count does not matter. Who you sleep with does not matter. Stop basing your opinions on someone off their sexual history. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite lyric is right before the second chorus. Oh, Sam. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. You're either, either a slut, slut or a bitch, bitch if you won't. Literally, Shakespeare on his best, best day <laughs> could <laughs> not write this second verse is just so perfect Someone's to me. Someone's gonna pull up like the way it goes Shakespeare through. literally saying, damn this if <laughs> you do. And if I don't. Like I already knew what type of band we were in, like what I wanted us to do and everything, but this brought in like a new layer. The purpose that we already knew was underneath it all, mm -hmm. I feel like kind of showed itself in this song. Yeah. Bitch, I'm gonna get so emotional. I remember we were walking outside after we had written that and I was just like, damn, I'm lucky to like be here right now. Yeah. 